Hi, today we will show how to use or how to install the chip for the HP 91. It's very important to install our chip. Make sure that the original cartridge has the original chip installed there. And also, this plastic holder should be cut. The holder, the plastic holder. But be careful, don't cut the chip. Cut the chip holder completely, the plastic chip holder, and make sure that it doesn't have anything, it's totally flat, okay? After that, you will take the cartridge and you will get a piece of copper tape that we normally provide with the chip. This copper tape is provided by fast plot with the chip. Then, peel it off. Use the tool to paste it there. Could be a clip like this. And paste a little piece behind the original chip. We recommend to paste two pieces. Then, I will paste the second piece on top of the other. After that, get our chip and install it in the way that is shown in the video. Make sure that you use the anti-static clip and also use the anti-static trap. Use the anti-static trap and also use the anti-static clip because the static electricity might damage the chip. After that, you will see that this chip is longer than the normal. So, if you get, if you get the cap and close it, you will break it and you will damage it. So what we need to do is cut the cup in the way that we will show now. Cut the piece here and also here. Then cut the rest. After you cut the piece of the of the top of the top of the cartridge, then you can close it carefully. And this part that you cut allows the chip go through the top. Then put it down and close the cartridge. The cartridge should look in this way and the chip, our chip, will be here. It's very important to keep the original chip because this side of the chip is measuring the pressure. So if this original chip is not installed with our chip, the cartridge won't be recognized by the printer. Let's see the next step, which is the installation in the printer. Before you install the cartridge, go to the printer and select ink in the menu and click, click OK. After that, you will select replace ink cartridges and click OK. Then the screen is showing you that you can open the cartridge garage and you can replace the cartridges. Do not try to replace the cartridges without this procedure because it can damage the printer. Let's see now 
the other step, which is the catchy uh, replacement. We are replacing the black cartridge. Then we can open the garage, take the previous cartridge out, and install the new one. When you push it down, you should be able to listen the beep in the printer. That means that the cartridge was recognized by the printer without any problem. You can see on the screen that the cartridge was recognized. The printer is recognizing all the cartridges. If, you, if the printer doesn't recognize the cartridge, you will see an X, an X or the, and, and eventually the, the cartridge will blink. But everything is static, everything perfect. Now, see the printer is showing the level of ink of each cartridge.